Did you know that the Earth's heart beats every 8.5 years? Well, not literally, but metaphorically. The Earth's core, the innermost layer of our planet, is not as stable as we thought. It wobbles slightly, like a spinning top that is losing balance. This wobble is so subtle that it was only detected recently by a team of geoscientists using seismic waves and computer models. But what does this wobble mean? How does it affect the Earth's magnetic field, geology, and climate? And what can it tell us about the history and evolution of our planet? In this video, we will explore these questions and more as we dive into the fascinating discovery of the Earth's core wobble and its implications. Stay tuned, because this is a game changer for our understanding of the Earth's core and its secrets. The Earth's core is divided into two parts, the inner core and the outer core. The inner core is a solid ball of iron and nickel. The outer core is a liquid layer of molten metal about the thickness of the Earth's crust. The outer core is responsible for generating the Earth's magnetic field by creating a dynamo effect as it rotates and flows around the inner core. The inner core also rotates, but at a slightly different speed and direction than the outer core and the rest of the planet. This is called the differential rotation of the core. But the inner core does not only rotate, it also wobbles. This means that it oscillates slightly around its axis, like a spinning top that is losing balance. It's very small, it is probably less than 0.1 degrees per year, and it has a period of about 8.5 years. This means that it takes 8.5 years for the inner core to complete one cycle of wobbling. It is different from the Chandler wobble and the polar motion that is caused by the ocean bottom pressure fluctuations. While the Cora wobble is caused by internal forces, such as the density and pressure gradients in the Cora, it was conducted by geophysical researchers led by Hao Ding from Wuhan University by observing subtle deviations occurring every 8.5 years in the polar motion and correlating them with slight shifts in the length of days across the globe Ding and collaborators solidified the existence of this inner core wobble. Their findings challenged traditional theories, assuming alignment between the Earth's inner core and mantle rotation axes. They also used computer models to simulate the core dynamics and test different hypotheses about the cause and mechanism of the wobble. The discovery has significant implications for our understanding of the Earth's magnetic field and geodynamo. It is a protective shield that surrounds the planet, deflecting harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. It also helps us navigate and orient ourselves by creating a compass effect. This magnetic field is generated by the geodynamo, which is the process of converting the kinetic energy of the outer core's flow into magnetic energy. The geodynamo is influenced by the inner core's rotation and wobble as they create variations in the flow and the magnetic field. It could affect the intensity, polarity, and orientation of the magnetic field by changing the balance and alignment of the core's forces. For example, it could contribute to the weakening of it, which has been observed in the past few centuries. It could also contribute to the reversal of it, which has happened many times in the Earth's history, when the North and South Poles switch places. This wobble could also contribute to the excursion of the magnetic field, which is a temporary deviation of the magnetic poles from their normal positions. The changes in this magnetic field could have various effects on the Earth's system, such as the climate, the biosphere, and the technology that relies on it. For example, the changes in the magnetic field could alter the atmospheric circulation, the ocean currents, and the weather patterns by affecting the heat transfer and the electric currents in the air and water. The changes in it could also affect the life forms that use it for navigation and orientation, such as birds, fish, and bacteria. The changes in the magnetic field could also affect the satellites, the power grids, and the communication systems that depend on it for stability and signal. Core wobble could also help us understand the history and evolution of the Earth's core and mantle. The core and the mantle 
are the two largest layers of the Earth, and they interact with each other through heat transfer, chemical exchange, and mechanical coupling. The core wobble could provide clues about the origin and age of the inner core, which is still a mystery. The core wobble could provide clues about the structure and composition of the outer core and the lower mantle, which are difficult to access and observe. Also, it could provide clues about the past and future changes in the core and the mantle, such as the growth, the cooling, and the deformation of the layers. The study of the core wobble is not without limitations and uncertainties. The data quality, the model assumptions, and the temporal resolution are some of the factors that could affect the accuracy and reliability of the results. The data quality depends on the availability and distribution of the seismic stations and the events that generate the seismic waves. The model assumptions depend on the simplifications and approximations that are made to represent the complex and nonlinear core dynamics. The temporal resolution depends on the length and frequency of the observations and the simulations. The core wobble also poses many questions and challenges for the geoscientists. The cause, the mechanism, and the variability of it are still unknown and unresolved. The cause of the core wobble could be related to the interaction between the inner and outer core, the differential rotation of the core, or the asymmetry of the core growth. The mechanism of the core wobble could be related to the gravitational, magnetic, or thermal forces that act on the core. The variability of it could be related to the changes in the core's properties, such as the density, the viscosity, or the conductivity. The core wobble also offers many opportunities and directions for further research. The geoscientists need more data, better models, and new methods to study the core wobble and its effects. They need more data sources, such as satellite measurements, geomagnetic observations, and geodetic surveys to complement and validate the seismic data. They need better models, such as 3D, time-dependent, and coupled models to capture and reproduce the core dynamics. They need new methods, such as machine learning, inverse modeling, and data assimilation to analyze and interpret the data and the models. In this video, we have learned about the Earth's core wobble and its implications. We have seen how they detected it I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about this topic and other topics related to astronomy, cosmology and technology, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.